Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this video. As you must be aware, um, I am really interested in um, preparing my students for uh, the position that they will have at the power utilities and 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 they must have um, skills that will allow them to perform in a very competitive way at the field. Um, something that I notice is that students has the possibility of learning a lot about power system protection, but there is a very important a practical aspect related with power system protections that is not typically covered in in the regular or typical uh, power system protection classes, and that is related with uh, protection testing, okay? Um, today, I, I am really proud because today I will be doing what I call the working around in one very important device in the lab, okay? Um, I am really proud that have in at the lab an Omicron product. Omicron is one of the leader manufacturer in testing and measurement devices, okay? And, and what one of the top of the line de um, devices regarding uh, relay testing and measurement testing is the CMC256. And today we are doing the workaround on this CMC256. Um, but this video has basically two parts, okay? The first part is an introduction and basically showing you the motivation behind protection testing, relay testing, okay? And then I will go through uh, what I call the workaround that is basically showing the main uh, features of the of this CMC256 Plus, um, showing you the inputs and the output of this device in the real CMC256 Plus that we have at our lab, okay? Well, but, but something that I realize is that teaching protection is quite important and the students, they learn quite fast and very and they are very interested in um, protection system, but something that is probably not totally covered for many reasons in a classical um, power system protection modules is the protection testing, okay? Protection testing is more practical. People require some skills and develop some knowledge that is that require physical preparation and handling hand-ons on the equipment, okay? I am really proud that we have this Omicron CMC256, okay? But let, let's start with what is the motivation behind relay testing, okay? As you must be aware, protection has been evolved over the time, okay? Many years ago, we used to have these beautiful electromechanical uh, devices, uh, over current devices at Sue Station. They perform well, they do the job, but they were... Um, if, if, if you think about they were inefficient, okay? For why I say they, they were inefficient, okay? Because if, if you are working in a three-phase system and you are thinking about, for instance, uh, over current protection, you require at least one of these electromechanical devices for the instantaneous over current phase A, B, C. We are talking about three relays, three electromechanical components. They have the possibility of misbehaving or unreliable behavior and as consequence uh, the reliability of the system was a bit compromised because we have so many equipments and also if we include um, redundancy or oh, Wow, that very old SWE station using those very old electromechanical protection, it was quite complicated, okay? Today, we have this digital protection. We have these, um, mm, mm, let's say, these digital relays that they have very, uh, very complex functionalities, okay? 
But 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 it's not because we want to make things complicated. The power system is evolving. The power system is integrating more uh, more and new technologies that they behave very different to the classical behavior they used to have the power system. And as consequence, we need new functionalities, new features, and um, protection relays. All the manufacturers they are coping with these new technical challenges, developing new and better um, protection relays. Uh, what I want to tell you is that right now protection relays they are a very complex devices that they have many features in fact the user can define new features inside these relays and also if you are thinking about wide area protection monitoring and control you have the possibility of developing functions that they suit to your power system characteristic. One of the things related is the complexity of those relays. Those relays are complex, and especially when we are talking about software and firmware, okay? Probably the software and the firmware are the most complex things in those relays. Um, because the relays are becoming more and more complex, we need to be sure that those relays are designed, created, and working properly inside the power system. And that is the reason, that is the motivation for relay testing. Relay testing is basically that we are sure that the relay is designed, built, and working properly for the function, for the characteristic that they were intended, okay? When we are talking about relay testing, there are many relay testing, type testing, acceptance testing, commissioning testing, maintenance testing. What I'm trying to say is that we have testing or test, um, of test method for all the life cycle of the protection since the relay is coming at the factory until reach the substation, install at the substation, and during maintenance, during maintenance uh, uh, task. Okay. Well, um, it's important that we need to we need to have the skills in order to perform this testing in a proper way. Okay. Omnicron has designed several, uh, has designed and manufactured several devices that they are top of the line for relay testing, measurement testing, okay? One of those devices is the Omicron CNC256 Plus, okay? This is the device that we have here in the lab. This is the device that the students uh, are using. And this device is basically top of the line, okay? This is a high precision universe, universal calibrator. I mean, this device can be used to calibrate other devices that will be used in the industry, but also for testing protection. And that is where I will be focusing in my following videos, okay? However, regarding calibration, uh, this device is top of the line, is able to provide high precision calibration in a wide range of measurement device, starting for energy meters, going for measurement, uh, measuring transducer, going to power quality measurement device that is very complex. And finally, very important for me, we have been working and developing phaser measurement unit devices. We have the phaser catcher that we developed um, a few years ago, and we are still developing uh, phaser measurement unit application. And as consequence, this CMC 256 Plus is very important for us. And from the protection point of view, this device has the possibility of testing almost every single protection functionality that you can imagine. And if you cannot imagine, the software that is coming with this device will allow you to replicate and create that, okay? Well, um, something that I must be honest here with you is that this device is extremely wonderful, extremely good, but I need to be sure that you understand something. This device is designed to test a real devices, okay? When you are testing a real device, a real protection relay, you need some voltages and currents that can be dangerous for a human being. For instance, if you are testing a uh, overcurrent relay, let's say the cell 751, um, you need to supply to this relay or, 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 or the cell 
411L, if you need to test this distance protection, this differential protection, you need to supply voltages and current. Voltages that can reach until 300 volts RMS, and that is dangerous for humans. And also, if we are in Europe, we use the one amps uh, standard for the current transformer. And as consequence, this device has the possibility of reaching one amps and even more, okay? Those levels are critical for human life. As a consequence, you need to care and keep in mind all the safety um, instruction, okay? Those videos that I am creating, they are not uh, overcoming or, 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 or more important than the original videos created by Omicron, okay? Those videos are short explanation, basic explanation about the products and how to use it. But you need to read the user manual, the official user manual provided by Omicron for this CMC256 Plus. Okay, you need to read the proper official uh, um, documentation, and also you need to take safety. Uh, safety instruction with this device, okay? Be careful, this device is designed to use uh, voltages that can be harmful for the human life, okay? Some of my students, they never um, work or be in contact with uh, a real testing device. And as a consequence, um, this video is dedicated to show them the basic picture, okay? This is the first video. The idea is that the student approach to the device, be familiar with some of the features, but they must read the official user manual, okay? What I will do now is what I call the workaround. The workaround is that I will go to some of of the most relevant features, in this case, inputs and outputs control in this CMC Plus, okay? Here I present some of the main components and main parts of the uh, front panel, okay? Um, I will go in details in the real physical device and it will be easy, okay? You can find a photo like this with more information in the official documentation, okay? And here you can see the same detail for the real panel, okay? But I prefer to do my work around using the real physical device and that is what we will do right now. Here you have the physical real CMC256 Plus from Omicron, okay? This is the universal tester that we have here for protection and measurement device, okay? Right now, what you are looking at is the, the front panel, okay? And over there, there are many many connections that we need to discuss, okay? The first thing, again, safety first. We need to be careful. Omnicron has been quite clever and they care about the customer and user and they indicate here with this symbol over here that those points are extremely important because they provide say, um, safety concerns, okay? Um, the first starting point is this one. Here is the power switch, okay? As you can see, it's a classical two-position power switch. When you move from zero to one, you are energizing the uh, CMC256, okay? Uh, again, you must be careful and you must respect all the safety rules when you are um, uh, performing any tests. Um, let me start with the explanation of this from panel going here, okay? In, if you look here at the top left, you can see the output voltage uh, terminals, okay? Um, over there, they are, they are at least four connectors over here for connecting A, B, C, and neutral point. Those are the voltage outputs. In this case, the basic configuration allows you to produce four different outputs up to 300 volt RMS, okay? That is the reason that you have this symbol over here because 300 volts could be a electric caution risk, okay? You must be careful when you are performing those tests because the voltage 
uh, the output voltage over here can be extremely dangerous, okay? On the other hand, here you have two channels, one for the current output A, current output B. Again, you must be careful because those current outputs, they are designed for a three output current of 12.5 amps RMS, okay? In this case, we are talking about that this is the output current coming from the current amplifier that we have inside this, uh, this device, okay? There are two current outputs depending of the relay that you are testing, depending of the uh, object on their test you need to use in a different way okay here there is something that say th this again there is a risk symbol over there and that received the name generator combination socket okay the generator combinator uh, combination socket is a place where you can use a plug over there eight pole combination socket for voltage output and for current output, okay? Again, you must be careful because again, there is possibility of dangerous voltage over there. Now let's move here to the middle point. There are two terminals over there, red and, and black, because we are talking about polarity in this DC output supply, okay? The auxiliary DC output supply is basically a voltage source that is providing three range of voltages from starting from zero to 264 volts. And this can be used for instance to supply uh, power to any test object. For instance, if you are testing one of your relays and this relay is using DC voltage uh, supply 42 or 48 volts DC, you can use those connectors to get that, okay? Now there are three more areas that we need to go here. This is the binary analog input you have over there, you have over there 10 binary, 10 binary or analog input in five different groups, okay? What I am telling you is each one of them can be seen like a binary or analog input and they are separated one, two, three, four, five in five different groups, okay? On the other hand here on the top, you can see the binary output. In this case, we are talking binary output and we are talking about that this is used for relay contacts and this is for potential free relay contacts and you can see terminals one two three and four over there finally to close this explanation from uh, of the front panel of this cmc 256 there is something here with the label analog dc input this device has a high quality measurement and as consequence you can put here some analog signals and this device has the possibility of measurement that for the uh, for the voltage you can see they are positive and negative we are working with dc and in this case the voltage range is between zero and positive negative 10 volts on the left hand side you can see the terminal for currents and this is moving between zero and plus minus 20 milliamps uh, for a current okay and um, and this is all for the front view or front panel of this cmc 256 plus okay let's go to the rear panel and run a short explanation rear panel is basically where connections related with communications and other stuff are located now we are at the um, rear um, the rear panel or back panel of this uh, cmc256 okay the first thing that I you need to understand is this device is using a classical uh, connector for power supply, okay? You can use here a, a connector going to the classical power supply and using 50 of 60 hertz, this device is able to work, okay? There is a protection here. There is a fuse. In this case, is uh, T12.5 
AH, okay? For 250 volts, that is the protection. And here there is an additional point for grounding, okay? Something that you must understand is this device is receiving um, um, power supply from the network, okay? But if you need to test your device up to 300 volts or even more, they are current and voltage amplifier here, okay? Uh, current and, and voltage amplifiers, they require, they, they have heat dissipation. They have um, considerable values of heat dissipation. And that is the reason that we have here at the right hand side, two different fans over there, okay? The small fan and the right hand side is is dedicated for the voltage output and on the immediately here you can see a bigger one that is related for the current output okay and uh, then we have here two more fans and those fans are mainly for the power supply that we have in this cmc256 okay the most important region and the most important area here in this uh, back panel is at the middle, okay? At the middle, you can see that that is basically the location for communications and connectors, okay? This device is equipped with several communication protocols. As you can see over here, there are two USB connectors, okay? They are USB connector type A and type B, okay? This allow the user to connect to the computer and use the Omnicron software to establish communication and perform tests and get the data, okay? Um, typically, the USB type B and A that is used in order to um, to get information, to move information, to use a Wi-Fi stick to move files, okay? Um, here you can recognize they are two RJ45 that uh, those RJ45 are the typically the typically defined um, Ethernet uh, or power over Ethernet connectors, okay? What I'm trying to tell you is there are two Ethernet ports here that they can be used for the classical Ethernet or even they can be used for power over Ethernet, okay? In this case, we can use any kind of um, twisted pair cable, Ethernet cable, and um, with a speed up to uh, 1,000 um, per second, okay? Um, Another thing that is important here is this small button over here, okay? We are using Ethernet, and if we have a big, uh, a big testing lab, probably we will have several of these uh, equipments, okay? And the optimal way to communicate, or one of the way to communicate those devices using the Ethernet or the USB, but we need to be sure that this device is connected with one very specific uh, computer. What is the idea of the associate button? The associate button is basically to create an association between the testing device and the computer that is controlling, okay? Using Ethernet communication, can create the problem because the device can be confused between sending and receiving signal between different devices. The associate button make a match, make a match between computer and testing device, and as consequence, you are safe to make the the to, to run your test to run your test in a multi-testing environment. Okay. Then we have two LEDs over there. There is a LED with the letter A and LED with the letter B. They are in yellow and green colors, and they are basically uh, used to indicate uh, a status of the of this CMC256. Okay. Finally, we have here those connectors. They have very good weather protection, as you can see. And those connectors are basically auxiliary and external connections, okay? What is the idea of those auxiliaries, uh, auxiliaries and external interfaces? 
Well, um, I will dedicate a video talking about those, but at the moment, what you can understand is there are some tests, protection tests, that they require external data. For instance, if you are performing any test and you require synchronization, uh, the CMC256 uh, Plus can take a signal for, from a uh, a satellite system to uh, synchronize the measurements using the protocol IRIGB. The timestamps can be synchronized using the, the GPS system. Okay, later we will discuss more about that, but you need to be aware of those connectors and the potential use. Okay. At this moment, we cover everything that is here at the back of this device and also on the front panel. And we are finishing the workaround of this CMC256 Plus. It is time to close this video. And I would like to tell you, thank you very much for watching this video. In this video, we define that there are some protection relays that require test test that must be performed during the whole life cycle of the relay, starting from the factory until the installation, commissioning, and maintenance, OK? And something that I uh, notice on the John professional is that they need more understanding about the practical stuff related with testing uh, protection relays. And that is the reason that we are talking about this Omicron CMC256. Six plus because this is the device that we are using to teach our students about hands on on real practical experience testing relays. Okay, um, in this in this video, I show you the basic functionalities and uh, connections that this uh, device have the two five six plus. Uh, however, I highly suggest that you go to Omnicron website and read the proper documentation for every single of the tests and every single of the devices, okay? Finally, I would like to say again, the CNC256 Plus is producing voltage above 300 volts RMS and 42 volts uh, DC. As a consequence, you must be careful and take in account all the, the safety measures when you are working with this device, okay? And finally, this video is not um, over the Omicron devices. It's just for the students that they are slowly learning about the Omicron CMC256 Plus. For further detailed technical documentation, please go to Omicron website. That is all for today. This is all in this video. Next video, we will switch on this device, connect to the software, connect to the computer, and describe how the connection is performed between the computer and this CNC256 Plus using the Omnicron software for testing. Okay? And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learn and you learn something. If you do so, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay in touch. Thank you very much.